Okay, we're going to go back to Rob for a look at your forecast. I remember earlier I said we may get a nice sunrise out of this. Yes. We're starting to we? see some hints like, that it's going to oh, be yeah. something that you may want to get your uh, cell phones out for. Starting to see some of those low and mid-level clouds that are going to be there, kind of reflecting that red light off of the sun early in the morning. I think we'll see that for many of our other locations as we get a little bit more of the sunshine. Here are those high thin clouds that I was talking about. All right, winds are the story today. The heat is the story today. Southwest winds for right now anywhere from 5 to 10, almost 15 miles per hour. This will become much breezier as we get into the afternoon, but because it's an offshore wind, I don't think we'll have concerns with high waves on the lakefront, although that will change on the other side of the lake if you're going to be out boating. 60s and 70s currently. Very quickly, we'll get those temperatures up to 90 degrees into the mid-90s by the afternoon. Lots of sunshine. We'll keep a few of those clouds in place for the early morning. We're already seeing that, uh, but the southwest winds may gust at times, maybe 20 or 25 miles per hour, so so if you are boating on the lake, just know that it is going to be a bit choppy past the breakwater. Uh, mid 90s for daytime highs. Now this will not break a record today. Our record high today is 97, but that will be different for tomorrow. So if we have all the ingredients in place, we have dry air that's in place. It's not terribly humid. We have gusty winds out of the south and west. We have all of the sunshine. And by the way, these winds will be gusty again tomorrow. Maybe not as gusty, but all those uh, things coming together to really bring us the warm temperatures. Here's a look at your current waves. I wanted to throw that in there just to show you that uh, shouldn't be as much of a problem. This 96 for tomorrow should be close to or break the record for tomorrow. The heat index is not going to be as much of a problem because we do expect the humidity to be on the lower side until we get to about Tuesday, but by that point the temperatures will drop a bit. So Monday is our hottest day, but it's not our most humid day. That will be saved for a little bit later in the week. Heat index values are going to be pretty close to the high temperatures for today. Doesn't have much of an impact. As far as records go, the record for today is 97, so we'll be pretty close to that with 95. It's not going to take much to bump us up there. 96 for tomorrow would break the record high of 95 for that date. Again, we'll watch it and see. After that, it's a bit cooler, but still hot for Tuesday and Wednesday, and the cool down arrives. That fall-like weather I teased, that will get here on Friday.